Hello and welcome. We're going to be doing a 3D spinner of a different take tonight. Um, these are made with six three inch square bevel pieces of glass. Um, you can also use glass to make one. This one I made out of just uh, two by two square pieces of glass. Hello everybody who's joining us. Um, so we're gonna do those today. I'm gonna. I'm only doing this video on Facebook Live now due to the fact that Zoom was more of a headache than it was uh, to use. Um, so if you have any questions or comments just post them in the comments on Facebook and I'll try to answer them as we go. Uh, if I don't get to them during the video I will answer them afterwards. I think I have this all set up very nicely now. Just get rid of some stuff that's in the way. Looks like we have a good turnout so far. There's about 25 people. Um, as I stated before, I am going to start these demos right on time. I'm not going to wait minutes and minutes for people to join in. So I started the video a few minutes early, and then that way everybody has time to join in um, if you miss any part of this video it will be uh, recorded on Facebook live on the video section of our Facebook page um, I'm also going to work with some uh, things on the website to try to include the videos on the website so I can put list of stuff that I use to make the projects also uh, yes, I'm going to advertise the store. That's why I'm doing this, to hopefully get more customers. The more we do this, the more ideas I give you, the more stuff you buy from me, the longer I stay in business. Uh, hopefully many, many more years. Uh, today, I'm going to use blue bevels for my project because I already did a clear one. These hang like so and you can put a spinner on them so they spin if you want um, I did the clear one so far I did the little two inch I made a little smaller one with some glass and this was just some scraps that I had laying around great little project I also thought if you didn't want to put a hook on them you could just sit them like so and put a little votive candle in there or you could put them either way and put a little votive or a little flower or anything such as that. It's kind of cool. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. There's a couple little tricks and tips I'm going to show you. Uh, to be honest, these are the first two that I've ever made like this because one of our lovely viewers and I can't remember her name at the moment sent me an email saying with a picture of one saying she wanted uh, me to do a demo on them so I sat down and I played with it and I figured it out it didn't take too long started off with just some square pieces of cardboard that actually came out from the bevel box because they come in between the bevels and I just took some scotch tape and kind of put it together as after I did that, it gave me an idea of how to put it together. Uh, the main thing we're going to be using is black electrical tape. I already cut a bunch of little pieces and have them lined up here. That way I can just grab them and use them. And that's what we're going to use to uh, hold it all together. Um, hopefully you guys like the new video camera setup. Um, I think it looks pretty good because I'm actually watching it over there makes it a lot easier for me to have it set up this way hopefully everybody can hear okay and can see okay if you guys need 
or have any questions or can't see something, just comment and let me know and I'll try to adjust it as we go. Uh, my plan is in the back of the store we have an extra room that I'm not really using that I might set up a little studio in there so I can leave everything set up and then once I get it perfect I won't have to mess with it anymore. In the meantime we're going to be doing this right out in the middle of the store since we're closed and nobody can come in right now but if you're in the area and you need supplies just go online and place an order and choose in-store pickup and we will uh, put it out on the front deck for you. If you're not in the area and you still need supplies, we are all caught up on orders. As of five o'clock this evening, we were caught up. And if you order anything, we should be able to get it out within one or two days. Um, so if you need anything, let us know. Um, so now to get started, what I did is I went ahead and I foiled these bevels already because uh, when I made the first one, I didn't didn't tin the whole thing first. And then after I put it all together, I had to go back and tin all the edges everywhere, which was a little more work than it should have been. So on the second one, sorry, piece of glass down there I keep stepping on. Imagine that piece of glass in a stained glass shop. Um, so the second one, I went ahead and tinned all the edges first, cleaned them all off, soap and water, and then that way I don't have to worry about soldering it when I'm all done. I can just touch it up. Uh, it'll probably save you a good amount of time doing it this way because then you don't have to worry about getting it soldered onto the star just right. Um, now. I used, they call it scallop foil, and if you look real close, I gotta find the camera here, right there, you can kind of see the scallop of the foil, and that's going to be on the outside of the, I'm going to call it a spear, because it doesn't, it's not really a spinner like the other ones, the other one that I did. So. It just I just did that to give it a little more decorative look without having to do decorative soldering. It's an easy man's way of doing decorative soldering. A <laughs> um, couple things we want to keep in mind today, and it's going to be real hard for me to show you as I'm doing it, and i got to quit doing my hands like that. Um, when we're putting these things together, we don't want to put it where one's over top of the other one like so, or like so. We're going to do it so that you actually have like a little groove but we're actually not going to do that. We're going to do it like this so that we have a little groove and a little more to solder to. Hopefully you guys can see that. We don't want one going over like that. We actually want them so that like the tips touch the tips. That gives a little more, uh, a little more room and area for it to solder and it will give it a little more strength. So I guess I should plug in my soldering iron. Good thing I have a Heiko. It only takes a few seconds to warm up. Got my sponge all nice and wet to wipe it on. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, because we want the scallop foil on the outside of the spear, we're going to take and flip everything upside down. When you're using bevels, you want to make sure your work surface is pretty clean. You don't want any pieces of glass or anything under it. Um, because you can't scratch the bevels moving them around. But this is my little way of doing this, is I'm going to put them all face down. I'm going to do five of them. You almost need four hands to do this, but I finagled it enough and was able to do it by myself, so using the tape. So I'm just using black electrical tape. Um, works good for doing stuff like this because it stretches. You don't really want to use duct tape or masking tape or anything like that because it doesn't really stretch and it's going to have a tendency to uh, you know rip and, or rip your foil off or something like that too so i'm just going to take a piece of tape and i'm just going to tape all these at this point nice thing about the black electrical tape is it comes right off 
eventually when I do a panel lamp, we use the uh, electrical tape to hold the panels together to bring it up into shape also. I just haven't gotten onto that job yet. So once you get those up into shape, now this is where the fun part comes because we're going to take these and we're going to put a piece of tape and we're going to put the points to the points and if they're not perfectly lined up like we want, it doesn't matter because we're going to adjust that in just a minute. See this is when it wants to uh, go everywhere. I tried, I looked at some different jigs and stuff and none of the jigs were set up correctly like Morton Glassworks has a little jig to do different, to hold different three dimensional stuff but it didn't work. So, ah, that piece of tape wasn't quite long enough. Now the other one's falling off. So as I'm doing this, if anybody's done one of these or you think you have a better way of doing it, let me know. I'm, I'm not afraid to do it a different way. This is just the way that I came up with. So now that we tape all these together, just got to get this last one up. Probably should have put the tape on those before I even tried to lift it up. So now that I got the tape on there, you can see I got it. I wonder if I just use something like this to hold two of them up would probably help. But once you get the tape on it, it doesn't. It helps right there. So now that we got that all taped together. And it's not gonna, I mean, it's not perfect, it's not square. You could see in the video that it's not square and it's not sticking real well, but that's okay. And I'm making sure, yep, all my foil is on the right side and everything. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is what's gonna help you hold it in a place. Instead of taping this top one on, I'm just gonna go right ahead and start soldering it. So I'm gonna put some flux on there. Again, when I solder these together, I'm going to put the point to the point. I'm just going to solder. Sure, that's all I'm going to do. See how easy it is? Okay. One minute here. jig works perfect just whatever you happen to have <laughs> so now that I kind of got it back up in the area I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tack this into place and I'm gonna go ahead and tack this other side First one you do, I'm going to tell you right now, is going to be a little awkward. Lost my solder. Ah, there it is. It's going to be a little awkward trying to hold it and stuff. But as uh, like this is my third one of these I made, I think before I made another one, I would get a couple two by fours or four by fours. Four by fours would work good. You could just make a little a square thing to hold it into place. So I have these two attached. So now you're going to see it kind of come back into the right shape. And because we don't have anything soldered, we just have it taped, it's not going to hurt the foil or anything. So now I'm going to go ahead and solder this one. Once I get it into place. When I get this tacked together, 
together real good, I'll show you what I mean by where to solder and put the points. So now, somebody posted it on there, somebody. I can't, sorry, I can't read it <laughs> from here. But they posted a, they use a block of four by four. So if you want us to do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tip it over to the back or to the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing I just did. I'm just gonna tack these right at the points. Um, last time I think I did the sides, but it really doesn't matter once you get, get tacking on it, you can flip it around anyway. That you want. See, I'm gonna turn it over to this side so that I can see what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just tacking this together. Um, it's gonna be fairly secure just tacking it, but uh, once I'm done, I'll go back and I'll add solder to everything. Really build it up and give it some strength. Um, well, I have the top and bottom of them soldered. So now I have to take this tape off so that I can solder these parts. Right here is where I'm going to show you. like I've got all the points tacked together. So what I'm going to do is take the tape off everything. You can kind of see how it's going to be. Now if you look, I've just dabbed all those with solder with other ones, you can 
can see I added more solder into there just to give it some strength and everything. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is just go back. I'm going to put a little bit of flux on each of these three spots. around it like I did on the last spinner just to give it a decorative look you can do that also This one is three inches square, squares. You could use two inches, you could use four inches, you could use whatever size bevel or glass that you want. Um, I'll probably make an uh, inch and a half one, a two inch, a three inch, or whatever. It's a great project to use up your scrap glass, I know that's for sure. I just twisted it one time. 
because I don't want a lot of it. And I found that I just want a very little bit showing. You can see I just have a little bit of a tail on this. Because this is going to stand this way, it doesn't matter which corner you put it on. You just want to stand it up. And that makes it real using those kind of hold it in place so that it doesn't shift and move on me while I'm doing it. Do people hang the spinners outside? Yes, people hang the spinners outside. My um, thought on hanging them outside is as long as they're not going to get blown by a lot of wind, maybe like on a porch with an overhang so they're not going to get rained on, would be fine. I don't like to put, I mean, it's not going to hurt the stained glass. Stained glass has been outside for many, many years. Just look at the church windows and stuff. But I would prefer to keep them inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flux this little ring part. Now I put it at a slight angle on this. So it's basically the tail of these little points are going down each solder line. And then the rest of it kind of gets embedded right into the solder glob that's already there. Now see this thing, because I don't have anything on here, it's wanting to kind of fall that way, so I'll stick that underneath there and that will hold it right where I want it. What size clear bevels do you have in stock? Pretty much any ones you want. Just get online and look. If it's online, we have it in stock. soldered in there. So now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of solder and just build this up on here. Solder right in there. So solder right to that hook. down each side and soldering it, but I think that would be more work than it's worth because if you get this soldered in there well, it's not going anywhere. Now, I do have a little point right there from that wire that's sticking out, so I'm going to get rid of some of it. I'll try to. out there. Happy Mother's Day on Sunday. If you haven't gotten a gift or your kids don't know what to get you, you can get a gift certificate on our website or have them get you a gift certificate. I put a link on it on this page. So there we go. I think I got it pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now I'll just clean it off with some soap and water. Um, you can see there's a few spots where I just want to touch up to kind of give it a little bit more solder on it to make it look more smooth. Get a little spot here where it's a little lumpy, so put a little more flux on it. Just have to be. Uh, careful when you're doing this not to get 
super sad or gooped up everywhere. Now you can patina this, which you can patina it, um, you can leave it silver, whatever you like. You can buy the little spinners on here. That's about all there is to uh, to putting it together. Okay, Nancy says in a previous demo, I thought you said it's not a good idea to use iridized glass in a project that will be outside in a lot of sunlight. I don't ever remember saying that. I don't think it really matters. The only thing that I've said about iridized glass is got to be careful when you patina it because uh, because you know it's a metallic finish that goes on it and sometimes your patina will stain it um, no we don't sell the bottle applicator you can get the bottle applicator right at Home Depot they're in the, the grout section for grouting your tiles I have a source for them, but their shipping is outrageous, so I have to call them and see if they got that corrected or not. So there's that spinner. I don't know if you really guess anything you put on a spinner could be a spinner, so there's that one. Now I guess if you wanted to, you could do each panel out of a st out of stained glass and do different things with it. You could even... Uh, I think it would be neat to do multicolors and then put like a little tea light candle or just one of those battery operated candles in it. That would be kind of cool and not put the hook on it because then you can sit it on your table put a candle inside of it. Um, I like the idea of making them a little smaller for ornaments on your tree. I don't know if it's, it'd still be kind of heavy. So that's how you do those. Anybody have any questions? Uh, we got a little bit of time that I can uh, answer any questions uh, or comments or what you want to see and what you don't want to see. Um, I think in the near future I'm going to try a box. Everybody knows I hate boxes, but um, I think I'm just going to do a small box with the bevels and show how to put a hinge on. It might not work work how I wanted to but it will give you a basic idea of how to do it um, so yeah does anybody have any questions now there is a short delay in uh, the video so when I ask if you have any questions and then I stand here looking off into never never land it's because I'm waiting to see <laughs> to uh, probably do something on Monday. My plan eventually is maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday doing a different video. Um, tips, tricks, demos. Um, if anybody has anything that they think is a great tip, let me know so I can share it with everybody. Um, as we're talking about tips and hints, um, the Stained Glass News has a great section where people, um, readers, tips, one of the best ones that I've seen wasn't too long ago, and I should have looked up the lady's name to give her credit, but you take your grinder bit and you put fingernail polish. I use my paint pen on the side of it, about a quarter of an inch wide, and then when it wears out, you can see what's worn out and what's not. Pretty good tip. Um, so if you guys have any tips on anything that we've done or anything that we're going to do or not going to do, but you think it's a good tip, uh, send me an email. Um, might be something in it for you.
intent. Um, if anybody has any more suggestions on other demos, or if anybody wants me to do a demo we've already done and do it again, I can do that. Um, I have a couple in mind of making a little lead panel just to show you how to put a little lead panel together. And the little box, um, I'm going to do a lamp, but that's probably going to be a little bit a little bit of time because I haven't even started cutting it out or anything, and I've got a bunch of products that I got to bunch of products that I gotta uh, get done, projects that I gotta get done. Um, can I see old videos? Yes, Dale, you can see all the videos that we've done on our Facebook page. You just go to uh, facebook.com slash Stallings Glass or Stallings State Glass, I can't remember which what it is. Um, and there's at the top of the, or kind of in the middle of the page, there's a drop down button that says videos. You click on that and it'll show all the all the uh, videos that I've done. Um, eventually I'd like to get them onto our website so there's a place on there that everybody can go. I just uh, haven't done that yet, haven't had time. Um, I would love to learn hinges too. Okay, okay. Somebody commented that um, they put their grinder bit all the way to the bottom and as it wears out they go up with it. I used to do that too but I would always forget if I went up or down or where did I start. <laughs> so I love the marker idea. <laughs> Simple decorative soldering. I'm not going to do decorative soldering. I showed you what I knew on the spinner. Come on Jill, you've already saw my masterpiece and how good I am at it. <laughs> Um, but no, uh, there is a couple books that I have on decorative soldering that I'm going to look into and maybe I can come up with a, a little demo on doing some of that. I know there's a couple of tips and hints in them to show you how to do them because I've read through them once, but I'll have to play around with it. Um, I do also want to do a butterfly, 3D butterfly like I have here that I've already done the um, demo on, but I had a couple people that want to make plant stakes out of them. So I just got to schedule it. Well, we had 30 to 40 people for this video, so I'm happy about that. Again, if you guys need any stained glass supplies, stallingsglass.com, if you didn't see that on your screen, get it out as fast as we can for you. Um, post office is really lagging lately though, so if you place an order to be shipped, my best suggestion is pick UPS for the shipping, even if it's a little bit more because UPS is a lot better right now than the post office is. Triangles with a strip cutter with one side longer, probably, but I would have to look at it and see if I can do it or not. How to use a cane bender? Hey, Sherry, that would be great. I have a cane bender, but I've never used it. So, what we'll have to do is get that out and learn together. Or maybe there's a couple people out there that have one that would like to join us and tell us how to do it. That would be great, too. Um, yeah. We've had a cane bender for many years, never used it. Um, I think the ladies that worked for me used it a couple times and that was about it. So, okay, so I think that's going to be it for tonight and uh, I'll see you Monday night at 7 is my plan. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll do the box on Monday. Um, I will send out an event reminder of what it's going to be and when it's going to be. Um, I'll have to make a box first and then I'll have to do one for a demo because I want to make sure it turns out that's how I did this. I did this one to make sure that it turned out and then I liked it so much I made the small one. So who knows, maybe I'll like making boxes again. I doubt it, but maybe. 
Okay, well, that's it for today. Remember, visit our website, visit our Facebook page, share your tips, your hints.